Hello. Hello. Welcome to Vlogmas. Sonia asked me today to talk to you about the Yule Lads, the Icelandic Santa Clauses. We have 13 of them and, and while you may think they are cute, they are actually less so. Because if you start thinking about the Christmas we have, have here in Iceland, we have six hours of daylight during the month of December. We have 13 Yule Lads. And it sounds nice, they start coming on the 11th and then up until the 25th. One of them comes per day, but if you really start to think about it, they don't dress like real Santa Claus. They do today, but they didn't. Back in the day, they were dressed like hooligans. They're not really Santa Clauses. They are members of a gang. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, and I hope your children are not watching this, especially if you live in Iceland. But these 13 are just career criminals. Let's just take a look at their names. Stekester, Sheep Coat Clot, Harassis Sheep, Impaired by Stiff Peg Legs. I don't think we need to take that any further. Gully Gog. Yeah, doesn't sound too bad. Heights and Gullies, waiting for an opportunity to sneak into the cow shed and steal milk. When you live in the 18th century, in a mud hut, no electricity, no TV, barely any food, and you have this guy coming in and stealing milk. Stuber, stubby, abnormally short, steals pans to eat the crust left on them. Hello, he's stealing. Thwörusleiker, spoon licker, steals spoons to lick is extremely thin due to malnutrition. Yeah, pot liquor, pot liquor. Steals leftover from pot. Okay, that's not too serious, is it? He's one out of 13. Then we have Oscar liquor, bowl liquor. Hides under beds, waiting for someone to put down their bowl. And he steals it after that. Another thief, door slammer. Likes to slam doors, especially during the night. Well, there is night like. 18 20 hours a day in Iceland during that month, so it can get quite frustrating to have this guy around. Skir Gobler, Skir Gammer, affinity for Skir. He probably steals it, he's not gonna come and ask for it gently, is he? Not when he has 12 brothers to help him. Yeah, they're all brothers. Bukmakagir, sausage swiper, would hide in the rafters and snatch sausages that were being smoked. Another food stealer from poor families in Iceland. Gluckager, window peeper. Do we need to talk about this guy even? Doorway sniffer. Abnormally large nose and acute sense of smell which is used to locate Leuvabrit, Icelandic delicacy. And guess what? He steals it. Meat hook. Kjetkroger. Think about it. If you have someone coming over who is called meat hook, is he bringing gifts or is he about to collect a debt for someone? And the last one, candle stealer. In a society which has little to no light and uses candles for most of the time, and they were actually expensive commodity back then, especially proper candles, and he's stealing them. So we have 13 thieves. We have 13 brigands, we have a gang. And when they've ganged upon you, wow, this sounds more like a horror movie and Yule lads. And then you have their parents, Grilla and Lepalude. Uh, Lepalude is useless. He's a giant. They are trolls. They are trolls. Not the kind trolls, but trolls. Trolls that eat things. Babies. They eat babies. They like babies more than anything. As food. They cook food. And she's pure evil, Grilla. They were trolls. Icelandic trolls didn't live under bridges. They lived in the mountains. And they would eat whatever they could, be it sheep, any kind of livestock, or humans if they got into them, especially babies. And Grilla and Lapalu had 13 children. These were the Yule lads. Oh, and don't forget about their Christmas cat, Jólakötturinn. If you didn't get any clothes for Christmas, Jólakötturinn, 
would come and eat you. Santa Claus doesn't eat anyone. He puts them in the bad book. He doesn't eat them. The Christmas cat eats babies, children who didn't get new clothes. He's not really a small cat. He's more like a polar bear with black fur or bigger and more dangerous. So take a look at the Icelandic gorillas and think twice before introducing them to your children.